Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I need you all day long, every day, praise God, praise God, glory to God, God is a good God, he'll turn every single thing around, amen, 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 <laughs> uh, get ready, Jennifer, amen, Jennifer, keep prayers, thank you, Jennifer, update. Thank you, Jennifer, thank you. It's time where? We go to your happy base. Time to go to your happy base. Right now. Geneva. Geneva. Thank you. Geneva, like a Geneva convention. Amen, Geneva. And be carefree, family. Be carefree. Amen. Come on now.
Yes, Lord, to be carefree right now, Lord. To be carefree and leave the world at the door right now. Leave the world at the door and enter into his secret place right now and be carefree. Lord, we cast all our care on you, Lord. For you care for us, Lord. Right now, we take every fear, every struggle, every anxiety, every worry, every attack, whatever is heavy on your heart right now, whatever is heavy on your mind right now, take that thing right now and lay it on the altar and give it to the Lord right now. Give it to the Lord right now. And once you lay it on the altar, what do you do? That's right. Let go. Let go. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden mover, the oak destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower. In each of our lives whose hand we never let go, Lord, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. <clears throat> so right now we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter, and we are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day. Every day. Have your way in every way. And right now, we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence. And say, use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. As you see fit for the kingdom. Lord, we've laid everything on the altar. We've laid everything on the altar right now, Lord. And now we trust you, Lord. We trust you with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding in all our ways. We acknowledge you, Lord, and you will direct our path. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. In every way. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale. The word of God. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly of all we could ask or think according to the power within us. Oh Lord, we feel the weight lifting right now. We feel the weight lifting. Thank you, Jesus. Anxiety leaving. Stress leaving. Worry leaving. We feel your peace right now beyond understanding. Take it over right now, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Replace the stress. Replace the fear. Anxiety. Worry. Struggle. Attack. Infirmities right now. Thank you, Lord, all the ways you're moving through the fellowship right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. A fresh anointing is flowing right now. A fresh anointing is flowing right now. Receive it. Let's stay together. I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day. In the name of Jesus, oh, say it again. 
I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Rest in it. Feel God's love surrounding you. Feel the anointing over you. The anointing that destroys every yoke. His anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Rest in it right now. Rest. No stress. Just rest. 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 As we rest, we pray this special prayer over Sister Michelle that her doctors will find the source. Sometimes the source is coming from the spiritual realm, a dis-ease, or unrest in spirit that sometimes manifest in the flesh. Lord, give the doctors a wisdom to understand, to look deeper into what may be causing whatever is wrong with Sister Michelle right now, Lord. Give them revelation, Lord, a resolution to find the source of why she's in the hospital, Lord. Yes, Lord. Guide them, Lord. Guide them to the source right now. Because by your stripes, Lord, she is healed. By your stripes, we are healed. We say thank you, Lord, right now for your healing touch. Thank you, Lord, for your healing touch, touching everyone in the fellowship right now, everyone in the fellowship who has any form of disease or disease going through the body right now, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus flow, flow through our blood vessels right now. Healing, healing every diseased and diseased cell in our bodies, Lord. Let your healing touch flow to each member in the fellowship, live or archived. Let your healing touch, Lord, flow, flow flow and touch each person right now needing a healing touch in any way hallelujah receive it receive it receive it thank you Jesus thank you Jesus glory Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Just say yes. Yes, Lord, I receive. Yes, Lord, I receive it. I receive your healing touch, Lord, right now. I receive it in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, I am healed. In Jesus' name, stand together, family. By your stripes, I am healed. In Jesus' name. Healing, healing, healing taking place right now. Healing, healing, healing taking place right now. Healing, healing, healing taking place right now. Healing, healing, healing. Say it together, family. Healing, healing, taking place right now. Healing, 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 taking place right now. Healing, 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 taking place right now. Healing, 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 taking place right now. In Jesus' name. In agreement, we pray. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for my healing. Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Thank you right now. It's already done. Thank you right now. Your healing is already done. Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ascension. Yes, Lord.
Peace be still. Peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And right now, Father God, as we rest in you, Lord, as we rest in your love and your peace, Lord, we rest in anointing right now and let go of every single care right now. Hallelujah, with A means worship. And Lord, we worship you in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, have your way right now, Lord. Have your way right now.
God does my every hunger feed. God walks beside me, guides my way through every moment of the day. I now am wise, I now am true, patient, kind, and loving too. All things I am can do and be through Christ, the truth that lives in me. God is my health. I can't be sick. God is my strength, unfailing quick. God is my all. I know no fear since God and love and truth are here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, Father God, I pray this corporate prayer, Lord, over the fellowship. I pray this prayer over the fellowship right now, Lord, to each person right now going through whatever it is. The prayers of family, provision, protection, direction, whatever it is. Every prayer request right now on the heart of each person shall come to pass. The fervent prayers, the fervent prayers, the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And we say thank you right now, Father God. Thank you, Lord. As we now go into, into the closing, Lord, we say thank you, Lord, right now, Lord. Someone's listening right now, Lord, who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire. And we come together right now around the world, Lord. We come together around the world and just say, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We pray right now, Lord, not just for supernatural healing, but we pray for a hedge of protection to be over everybody, to protect us, Lord, protect us from any hurt, harm, and danger for unexpected shootings, accidents, natural disasters, or violence, Lord, of any kind. We pray for healing over the pandemic, variants, and every other disease, Lord. We pray for leaders, justice, and change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spiritual rebellion, division, racism, and hatred. As we commit, as a fellowship, to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek your face, turn from our wicked ways, so you will hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. All these things we ask in Jesus' name we pray. And right now, I'm talking to a person listening. I'm talking to a person listening right now who's been going through some stuff right now. And you heard the, the praise earlier. And you heard the worship. But right now, you're having trouble connecting. But right now, you're having trouble connecting because right now, darkness, stress, fear, worry, and hopelessness is all over you. Family turning away from you. Friends stabbing the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yes, someone, somehow, you find yourself on this channel and you have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. So right now, if you're backsliding, you want to come back to the Lord. Or right now, your life is filled with depression, darkness, and hopelessness. Or you just don't know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right now, I want you to pray with me. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for wrong I've done. How long I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. Right now, I accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. And I commit right now. I want to do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life. But I'll give it to you first. Create in me, O Lord, a clean heart. And remove from me anything and everything. Not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is right to see the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teach us, that guide us, and also convict us when we're not one God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Yes, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit and starve your flesh. Feed your faith and starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life, which is God let you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Next step is repent. And repent means change your ways from simple ways to God's ways. And again, the more time you spend with God every day, the stronger you get. And next thing you know, you turn away from simple things you used to do and instead seek God's will and God's way according to his word. 
Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other disease, Lord, right now. Lord, we say right now, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, praise God. We are loose right now, Lord, loose into the fellowship. Loose into the fellowship, Lord. Peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Loose healing, Lord. A supernatural healing over the pandemic and everything else, Lord. Let's say by your strength, we heal every day. We confess every day. I believe I receive my healing. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Pray until something happens. Loose, Lord. Reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now. Who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. Lord, I pray for every family not falling apart who's still under attack every day, Lord. And loose, Lord, a supernatural abundance, Lord, a supernatural overflow. And bless, Lord, bless, Lord, let your let your, 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 your supernatural flow of abundance flow through every challenge right now, whoever needs it. For you should supply all our need according to your riches and glory for Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I shall not want anything, for the Lord is my shepherd. And let's say this part together, fellowship, say this, repeat after me. I am the head, not the tail. I am above, not beneath. I am the lender, not the borrower. I'm blessed going in and blessed going out. I'm blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. In Jesus' name I pray. And finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. We thank you for a miracle. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know. Every day, Lord, we take time. Every day, we take time and see a miracle. Visualize the miracle in detail. See it. Believe it. And then receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. You don't know the when. We never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day you wake up, could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now, so expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you, keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord bless his divine approval upon you and give you peace. May you be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to, a blessing to everyone you pray over. A blessing every you pass by and bless by the open your mouth because the love and light of the Lord is all over you 24-7, 365, including leap year. Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask in the name of Jesus we pray. If those just say amen, amen, amen.